Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Okay, so we are going to start off with our question of the day. And our question of the day today is, what could you do with a paper bag when you are done with it? And if you don't know what a paper bag is, it looks like this. You can get them from a grocery store. It looks just like this. So what could you do with that when you were done with it instead of throwing it away? Kinsley, what do you think? You could make a dress. Make a dress out of it, yeah. Like the paper bag princess. Like the paper bag princess did, yeah. She cut a hole right here and cut some holes for her arms and it was her dress. Or you could recycle it. Um, lots of things you could do with it. Okay, good. So today is Monday. So if we were in our classroom, we would be having a library. So Kinsley and I are going to read a book for you today. It's called The Night Before Easter. Yes, and Kinsley picked this one out today. It is called The Night Before Easter, and we thought it would be fun since Easter is going to be this weekend. And if we were at school, we'd be doing so many fun things with Easter eggs and stuff like that. So we are going to read The Night Before Easter for you today. Um, the author is Natasha Wing, so she wrote the words. And the illustrator is Kathy Curry, so she drew the pictures. All right, so The Night Before Easter. "'Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn. Not a creature was stirring out on the lawn. Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter bunny soon would be there. Do you guys have your Easter baskets set out yet? No. We don't at home here. We'll have to get those out this week. Mm -hmm. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds while Can visions we... of jelly beans danced in their heads. Um, jelly beans. I love jelly beans. I like to eat them. <laughs> Then out in the barn, the hens made such a clatter. Hi, preschool friends. Hi, <laughs> preschool friends. Are you going to say anything? This is how a princess lays. <laughs> All right. So good morning to my friends. So we're going to start off with our question of the day. And our question of the day is, um, what could you do with a paper bag um, when you're done with it? So if you don't know what a paper bag is, it looks like this. And you can get them at a grocery store. So that is a paper bag. So what could you do with this when you were done with it? Instead of throwing it away, what could What's you do with it? The front? So think about that. What do you think, Kinsley? What could like, you? Um, you could color on it and cut this out, and you could try reading this. Okay. What does this say? It says R and Lily. Um. You could recycle it. That could be an option. Or um, in the book that we've read before called The Paper Bag Princess, she makes a shirt out of it. You could cut a hole in the top of it and some holes for your arms and make a shirt out of it and play with it. Okay? Those are just some ideas to use or to re ways to reuse a paper bag. So since it is Monday, it would be library day in our classroom. The Night Before Easter. So yes, Kinsley picked out this book um, for today. It's The Night Before Easter. We thought it would be fun hey, since this... Hop, 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 hop. If I'm talking, you need to wait. Um, since it's going to be Easter this weekend. And if we were at school, we would be doing lots of fun things with Easter eggs and things like that. So, The Night Before Easter is a book and we are I reading today. And the author is Natasha Wing. And so she wrote the words, and the illustrator is Kathy Curry, so she drew the pictures. "'Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn. Not a creature was stirring what? out on the lawn." What, Kinsley? Um, what does dawn mean? Dawn means it's right before the sun comes up. It's still dark out, but the, the sun's getting ready to come up. That's dawn. Good question. Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter bunny soon would be there. Have you guys got your Easter baskets out yet? No, nope, not me. We haven't yet. We'll have to do that this week. Maybe today. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. Yes. 
Then out in the barn the hens made such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. When what to my curious eye should appear, but a big fuzzy rabbit with a crook in his ear. A crook means his ear is bent. Yep, his ear's bent right there, so he has a crook in his ear. He walked on two legs, which I thought was quite funny. No rabbit could do that That's except... The Easter, Easter Bunny. Bunny. See, that's cool. He sniffed at the pansies, a tulip a rose, jumped over a shovel, a rake, and a hose. That's a <laughs> Then up to her house in just a few hops, he came bearing chocolates and striped lollipops. Ooh, yummy, 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 yummy. As I sat on the stairs, not making a sound, that swift dapper bunny sprang in with a bound. I wonder if the Easter bunny knows that he's sitting here on the step. His soft fur was spotless from his head to his toe. His vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. With his this. eyes how they sparkled, his whiskers how merry. His tail was like cotton, his nose like a berry. Yes, Kinsley. With this, um, what does checkered mean? Checkered means it looks like that, like a, like a checkerboard. It's kind of in a pattern. It was going purple, green, purple, green, and it makes his little squares. Green purple, green purple, green purple. He made not a sound. He went straight to his treasure, filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. Mm -hmm. I see some jelly beans. Chocolates and chicks and candies galore spilled from our baskets onto the floor. Do you guys think the Easter Bunny's going to bring you guys lots of candy? On the floor last year, he put lots of candy on the floor. And just when I thought that bunny was done, he picked out some eggs, looking over each one. What's he going to do with those eggs? Mm -hmm. His, he carefully hid them on couches and chairs, the mantle, the bookshelf, and under the stairs. Ew. When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start. He wiggled his nose and went to his cart. He sprang from the house with a single bound and bounced down the street without making a sound. I have a question for yeah. you. Yes. How many Easter bunnies do you think there are? Okay, let me finish reading this book. I read his note as he hopped, hopped away. Happy Easter to all and to all a great day. That was a fun book. So... Kinsley said, how many Easter bunnies do you think there are? I think hmm. there's this. I think there's a lot, and, and sometimes I think there's this one, too. Hmm, that's a good question. If Kinsley said, sometimes she thinks there's a lot of bunnies that are the Easter bunnies, sometimes she thinks there's just one. What do you think? I think both.